And good evening, my lovely Lost Tales, and welcome back to the Blue Rose Respite for my Friday night spy stream. How are you all doing this evening, chat? Yeah. Sure, that's on, right? How's it going, my lovelies? I hope you're all doing well this evening. Hello, my lovelies. How are you all doing? Hope you're having a wonderful week so far. I am very tired. <laughs> it's been a hell of a week for me, in a good way, in a very, very good way. Um, yesterday, I was very eventful uh, for me, and um, I can't talk about the details of it because it was like voice acting related stuff. Um, but I had a wonderful day. Um, I think just like with the shift in seasons, now that it's November, <laughs> um, and just like with the clocks and everything like that, just now, now that it, it's getting darker earlier here in the UK, all I want to do is sleep. I, I just want to get in my cozy bed, in my cozy blankets and just sleep. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. <laughs> so I am quite tired uh, tonight just for uh, to let you guys know. So we might be doing a slightly shorter stream tonight, maybe closer to two and a half to three hours or something like that. Of course I say that and then it ends up being my longest stream yet. So we'll see how it goes. Um, but just a uh, heads up that I might not be quite as bubbly, not quite as active, just because I am entirely top, like head to toe physically exhausted. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Sam. Oh, thank you so much. You guys are so lovely. Thank you. Ah, <sighs> but it should all hopefully lead to good things. Um, I won't say the details of what I was up to yesterday, but it was for an audition for potentially something very, very cool. So any good vibes you can send my way, any positive vibes hoping that I am cast for this particular project would be hugely appreciated because I feel very confident in my audition um, and I did my best. I got along very well with the uh, voice director, um, but it's in their hands now, so it's up to them. Um, can't say anything more than that, but just any good vibes you can send my way to hopefully like get me cast in this particular project would be very much appreciated. Hey, Galactic Emperor Batman, how's it going? Welcome back. I had the exact same feeling all day. I just want to cuddle up in a blanket and hug a pillow bigger than me all day. Honestly, mood. Mood. I just want to Um, It's getting into like hibernate mode where like I'll go out to work. I'll do the things I need to do. But when I come home, all I want to do is just like cocoon and wait until like Christmas comes around, to be honest. Ah, but I hope your week has been going well, my lovelies. What have you been up to? Hmm. I've just been busy with a lot of stuff. I think also just like with the the craziness um, that comes with um, uh, October, it being like, you know, the best month of the year, hands down. Um, and now that it's like into December and everything's like slowing down as everything transitions into winter, I'm just like, okay, I'm allowing myself to like slow down. I don't need to be at like that breakneck speed that I, that I am like 11, let's be honest, 12 months of the year. Um, so yes. And speaking of slowing down and getting things cozy, um, in case you didn't see it on my socials, I have done a collaboration with Megan, the owner of the amazing tea shop, Ivory Monocle Tea. Um, there is a special banner for it in my About screens. So if you go to my About page on my Twitch, um, there is a banner there that has a picture of the two blends that I developed with uh, Megan. Um, and uh, in this very cool uh, collaboration with the official Stephanie Swan Quills uh, teas. We have a black tea and we have a white tea. Both of them were uh, taste tested by me personally and have my seal of approval. They are 
so nice and so good um if you like floral teas then they're very very much for you if floral is not quite your thing that's okay she has a ton of other amazing teas available at her store so yes check out um my uh about page with all of my panels and stuff and there is a special panel and if you click on that panel then it should take you straight to the listing that has both of my teas um like as a set but you can also get them separately if you try them and you're like oh i like this one a little bit more of the other then you can also get them separately as well but be sure to check those out megan is an incredible friend and i'm so very excited about this collaboration uh, we've been planning this for a long time and when it finally it's finally out and i'm very very happy and very very excited Oh, awesome. The new Spider-Man game's good. Nice. Sad I can't stay for the stream as I have an interview. We'll see you next stream. Oh, it's all good, Lord Hopeful. Best of luck with the interview. You got this. You absolutely got this. Mm -mm. I don't think I've had a floral tea before. Maybe chamomile? It's floral in the sense that, like, the base is, like, a there's a black tea and there's a white tea. Um, but they have, like, floral stuff added to it so the black tea is a mixture of um earl grey rose petals and uh corn f uh, blue cornflower um petals as well and then the white tea is um white tea base with a uh, jasmine in there as well a little bit of lavender and it's more to like wind down like relax a bit because it's a white tea there is a little bit of caffeine still in it but it's lot 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 less than a uh, black tea um, Megan is one of the smartest people I know when it comes to teas and their medicinal properties as well as like um, their more like spiritual attributes and stuff like that so all of her brews are absolutely delicious and she is a wonderful friend so be sure to check those out when you can I think white tea is harvested later than other teas, gives it a more delicate taste. Yes, that's what our best way to describe it is it's quite a delicate, soothing sort of tea. Like you, I don't think you would necessarily mix a white tea with milk. You probably just have, I believe you have that just straight on its own as more of a herbal tea, um, but it is delicious. And uh, we worked on that one in particular, um, thinking about some different uh, ingredients for it. And then when we brewed it all together, it was, so good. Ah. Mm -hmm. But where we last left off on uh, Baldur's Gate 3, it was a very eventful stream. Um, we're stepping into Act 3 of this incredible game. We defeated Catherick in both forms, and that was terrifying. Uh, we met or crossed paths with. Um, Oren and Gortash, and uh, we got to know the true face of our uh, dream visitor. So for anyone who's just like popping in now, maybe as a first time uh, time into my streams, just a heads up, we are like right into like the last act of the game. It will still be a good couple of uh, streams worth of um, playing this, like the final act of this game, but just a heads up, it is just, we're well in into the story now. Ah. <sighs> But are you guys feeling it? Are you guys feeling ready to start? Because I'm feeling ready to start. Um, again, I'm still a little loopy, a little tired. Like, I, again, I'm just going to have, like, a slightly shorter stream tonight. Because, yeah, I'm just, like, running on fumes at the moment. Because <laughs> on Fridays, I get up at quarter to six in the morning so I can go to the gym. I am in a lot of pain. <laughs> I'm very sleep deprived. Hmm. Oh, I'm sorry you're looking so beautiful. It's making me feel more cozy and want to snuggle in a blanket more, if that makes sense. That makes perfect sense, Sam. Absolutely. <laughs> hey, Hashem, how's it going? The Seraph of Gains. Oh, you have no idea. I've gotten, like, so strong when it comes to, like, doing deadlifts and stuff. Like, my PT, I think, is, like, getting to be a little bit scared of me, and that just fills my heart with joy. <laughs> But no, no, he's wonderful. Um, I'm very, very appreciative of him and our sessions together. And he's an excellent motivator as well. Keeps me nice and grounded as well. Make sure that I do everything correctly and safely. So, are you guys ready? You guys ready for more Baldur's Gate 3? Because I most certainly am. I'm a, I'm a, I am won't lie. I'm very scared that we're stepping into like the last act of this game. Because like the stakes are higher. 
And there's so many ways that this can go horribly wrong. Because, <laughs> like, of all the things I've been trying to avoid, anything Act 3 related, I've been trying to avoid, like, the plague. So I would, wouldn't get spoiled for, like, major plot beats. So, but I'm very excited. Are you guys ready for more Baldur's Gate 3? Because I am. Yes, that's what I like to see. Alrighty then, my lovelies. Let's go then. So, yes, uh, we ended the last stream on a on the revelation of um what the yeah. okay cool um we had of the revelation of the true face of our dream visitor. So that's why I was very hesitant to go back to sleep because we were attacked by Gith. Um, last time I tried to rest, so I thought it best to just stop the game there before we do a long rest. And yes, we do have the new patch installed as well, so there might be some other fun little tweaks as well. But let's get going then. Sleep. Okay, no more attacks in the night. Okay. Oh yes, um, <laughs> Lazel. I wonder what you want to talk about. Your parasite communes with Lazel's. Her heart races as she learns of the events inside the <laughs> prison. Orpheus, Gith's only son. He lives. It is not the Gaith visitor that Vlakith would destroy and Vos would set free. It is Orpheus, the blood of the mother, the prince of the comet. The blood of the mother? Who is he exactly? Listen close. The Emperor spoke only in half truths. For you to know the tale of Orpheus, you must know the tale of Gith and of Vlakith. Long ago, when we rose up against our gay slavers, Mother Gith made for the Hells to secure an alliance with the Archdevil Tiamat. Tiamat gifted the Githyanki our red dragons. Gith remained in the Hells, and Tiamat's envoy proclaimed Vlakith our ruler. The first Vlakith of many. It is Vlakith 157 whom my people now call Queen. Hmm. 157? That's a lot of Lackeths. Yes. Our current queen has claimed undeath and reigned for a thousand years. But it was the first whom Orpheus tried to slay. Orpheus was, is, Gith's only son. He led his mother's own honor guard in a coup against Vlakith I. It was Kithrak Vos himself who slayed the prince in vicious battle. Or so the Varshas teach us. Yet the Prince of the Comet's been with us, subdued by that repugnant illithid. Should Orpheus go free, he would tear Vlakith's empire to pieces and build new glory from the scraps. Hmm. Then Voss was right. Orpheus is the seed of Vlakith's demise. The seed? And the sower. Every word Voss spoke, he spoke true. Orpheus is the living proof of the Queen's lies, and the living weapon that conquered our Gaeth slavers. One word from his lips, and the people would doubt. Two words, and they would rage. Three words, and they would bow to the true heir. If the Githyanki are to be free, the Prince of the Comet must lead the way. Hell yes. Oh gods, I want her voice to step on me. Is that normal? I mean, Sam, as a voice actor, I know the power of voice holds, and yes, that is completely normal. <laughs> oh, we're not even touching on that tadpole issue. I am not doing it. Everything's fine. Everything's good and great and fine. We're destroying the elder brain. We're not going to control it. And the brain's too powerful to let live. Destroying it may be the smartest thing to do. Okay. Eh. 
And yes, we need to get to Baldur's Gate and try to find out what's happening with that. Lazelle is eager to speak with Kintharag Voss at Shares' caress. He knows someone who can help free or Orpheus from his prison. Astara thinks we need to find some of his fellow spawn if we want to learn about Kazadol's plans. Apparently they used to hunt for victims in the dens of the city. Okay. We have stuff to do and all of that happens in Bond. <gasps> Shadowheart? Shadowheart, you look different. So, there's been a mind flare inside the artifact or astral prism the whole time we've had it. Sounds like utter madness, even though I've seen it with my own eyes. The more I learn, the less I understand just why I was sent to retrieve that thing. But it matters little now. I do not serve Shah anymore, nor the Mother Superior. The prism is no longer my mission. Saving my parents is. But I digress. Did you want something? Can I... Can we talk about the hair? Is that something that maybe, like, happened, but then, like, the new patch just automatically Fine. happened? What's on your mind? Okay. Unless that comes up as a thing? Like, okay, we're just gonna let it slide then. Um, it looks amazing. It looks amazing and flawless and perfect. <gasps> Karlak, what's up? You saw Gortash, didn't you? What the fuck was he doing down there? It's all of this because of him. Oh shit. The tadpole, the absolute. How? It seems he is a servant of Bane, as Ketherick served Merkel. Who knows what powers he's gained since you knew him. I'd never have protected a Baneite even a decade ago. I looked after that fucker with my life. I trusted him. He gave me away to Zariel without a second thought. And now he's looking to ruin the entire Sword Coast. He has to die. For and I'm gonna be the one who kills him! I will try to make that happen. We'll do it together, whatever it takes. He can't get away with what he's done. To me. To us. He won't get away with it. Okay, note to self, when we go after Gortash specifically, we have to bring Karlak with us. Like, it's tricky, and I think that's just where this is, like, a lot of the good replayability comes in, is that, like, say, the end of last stream when we got surprised by the gif. With that in mind, like, okay, that triggers when we come to this location, and so then, if you wanted to see, say, what Lazel's reaction is, then on your second playthrough, or subsequent playthroughs, you can then be sure, like, ah, oh, we're at this point in the story, so I should bring uh, Lazel into my party before we do a long rest. And because I imagine there's because there's just so much in this game um, that sometimes I do forget of just like, oh shit, I need to bring like this character with me. And it is a little bit of like, oh, you almost want to like make a mental note or like write it physically down and put it on like a post-it note right next to the screen of just like, okay, my to-do list. When we go after this person, we need to bring this person just for like those little like important character beats that you get to experience like of course it's not obligated like you have to have x character for y quest but it adds so much more when you get to see like that quest fulfillment and their reactions to it and stuff it's just mwah, so good uh do you have anything to say you two be gone friend i have a darling to adore <laughs> How do you intend to spend the rest of your new your newfound freedom? I am free from my bonds, but not my duty. The dead three are risen. The dead two remain. You must face them. I will help. Hell yes. You should join my camp permanently. We can fight the powers of evil together. Our thoughts are as one, my friend. You must face the Chosen of Bane and Baal. I will do my part to see them laid low. Hell yes. Isabel, what are your thoughts on this? Looking forward to a bit of rest, if I'm honest. It's been a long century. 
Okay. Um. Something good here, I hope. Let's have a little chat again with Shadowheart, because apparently, like, if you talk to her again, then it triggers that conversation about her lovely new hairstyle. Because, yes, we need to have a chat. Be honest. There we go. What do you think of the new look? I love it. Well, I'm glad someone does. Perhaps I'll get used to it. I have a lot to get used to right now. Oh, I love you. I love you, Shadowheart. It looks so good on her. Okay, does anyone else want to chat? I saw Will was fine. Okay, let me just check. Okay, there's the magic mirror. Everyone else seems to be fine. Um, I'm going to wait until we're actually in Vault Escape before changing uh, my character's look. So, let's leave camp, shall we? Everyone's doing great and good. Fine. Actually, it does... Ga Does Gail and Starion have anything to say about what the fuck just happened last night? There's no more radiant sight than that of someone who's learned to love themselves anew. Shadowed in name, but no longer in spirit. It suits her. It really does. Okay, I'm picking up from some of the dialogue options that you can give the astral uh, tadpole to one of the party members and then they might turn into an illithid, which is interesting. Oh, we have a new look for a new shadow heart. Nice as it is, she still doesn't have <laughs> the best hair in the camp. Ah. <sighs> No. Yours is just so fluffy and fun to run my fingers through. I mean, what? Although I kind of imagine uh, Silesia, she's like, oh, absolutely, I agree. And then they nod both at the same time of just like, y you are talking about me, right? A star, and you're like, of course, of course, of course. <sighs> Thanks. I needed that bruise to my ego. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Humble as always. <laughs> ah, got an achievement. The city awaits. Your character does have the best hair, though. She really we does. Find where Gortash and Orin have established themselves and take them. I will do my best voice in my head. Now get the fuck out. Peers will be watching, no doubt. Waiting for my return. We should do what we can to find them. What they know could help us. With hate. Ooh. Okay. Stuff? The fact that there's like just backpacks with potions makes me nervous. Maybe sell those. Good. Actually, how are we doing for potions? I've got quite a few, Gail. <laughs> Gail, you need some. Let's. Because we got out asses handed to us last fight. And one for you as well, Shadowheart. Starin, I think you're okay. Yep, you're fine. I mean, you're always fine, but you're fine potion-wise. Spirit Wolf, thank you so much for the eight-month resub. Where has the time gone, Stephanie? Much love. Much love to you as well, Spirit Wolf. Thank you so much for the resub. Thank you. What now? 
ready and willing. Let's move. Okay. Moving ahead. Might be useful. Okay, waypoint discovered. Um, excuse me. I can't find my mum. Um, what's your name? Jenna. And my cat is Grub. He's shy. I'm not. My mum is called Emery. She went to go get some herbs for her spots. She was sick, and she was supposed to come back the same day. That was last ten day, though. Uh, let's go find a guard. They'll be able to help you. Guards blow like petards. They don't help us. Is this a shakedown, kid? Like, I have shit to do. I'm sorry, I'm gonna be that asshole. I'm playing a ranger, not a paladin. <sighs> but she's not a complete dick. Must be hungry, take some food. Wow. Thanks. My mum would like this. She's the best cook in the world. And she taught me too. I'll, um, I'll look for her. I think she'll probably come soon. Thanks a lot. Like, I wasn't about to give some random kid my coins, but I'll, I'll give you, because uh, we've got so much food, I'll give you some food. And my voice is doing a lot better. Um, it was a little rough yesterday because I was screaming into a microphone for almost an hour. <laughs> Having a lot of fun doing it, but it was very rough afterwards. Hmm. Okay, let's just generally look around and try and familiarize myself with this area. So, one thing though. Spirit of the Amulet. Open hand temple in Worms Crossing. So we're in Rivington at the moment. Let me just check something. That's where Shares's Caress is. Oh, city. Okay, Baldur's Gate isn't that far away, but we need to head to Worms Crossing. Right Especially that particular temple we need to keep an eye out for. Yeah, that gate leads further down. So we'll talk to the guard that's there in a moment. I just want to familiarize myself. Okay, yes. This looks like just a guard station that's stopping... Oh! Goody! They're stopping uh, the troops of the Absolute. Let's have a little chat then. Turn back, citizen. No passage in this direction. Fair enough. Why not? It's bloodier than a butcher's backyard out there. Piles of dead absolutists, and a few of our own as well. The cultists assaulted the gate, armed to the teeth trying to break in. They nearly had it too, before the Steel Watch intervened. Uh, Steel Watch? Is that some sort of fancy new rank of City Watchman? <laughs> a little more than that. You'll see for yourself soon enough if you head to the city. Hmm. Okay, let's just wander. Try and find the The shit is that? Okay, that got my attention. This sounds like a conundrum. The place was empty. Keep those thugs away from my family. Denuvia! Get these spotters out of my house now! Arthur, sweetheart, you paid me and my boys to be caravan guards, not cattle wranglers. If you want us to get our hands dirty, it'd be our pleasure. But that'll be extra.
The army of the absolute is mere days away and you're bickering over property ownership? This is my home. I may pride myself on my philanthropy, but I draw the line at being a halfway house. This man's indignant demeanor barely masks a seething anxiety. There's more to this situation than he's letting on. Zenovia and I are just navigating a slight contractual disagreement. Not that it's any of your concern. You seem to be a little on edge. Are you alright? Wouldn't you be on edge if your beautiful home had been defiled by such brazen interlopers? Well, I tried. I have more important things to take care of than squatting squabbles. I guess we're all you've got then, Arthur. Want your house squeaky clean? Cough up! Again, this is none of my business. Time I hire someone from the guild. Fine. Here's the extra. Finish the job. Come on, boys. Let's take out the trash. No, 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 no. Don't you dare lay a finger on them. It's one of those things like, I, I know it's kind of a dick move, but. It's none of my business. I'll give food to lost kids, but shit like this, I'm like, I have bigger things to take care of at the moment, okay? Oh no, what have I, what have I stepped into? Oh, this is... What's up for discussion? Oh god. Of cheese between his piggy toes. How dare you! What in the hell is all of this? A necessity, good sir. The Steel Watch loves pretending sweet Rivington doesn't exist, so we have decided to protect you, dear patrons. <laughs> no need to thank us. You'll be allowed in once I've done this batch. Next. Hey, Carmina, how's it going? Hello, hello, and welcome to the Circus of the Last Days. The finest extra planar circus there is. I've never heard of an extra planar circus. We travel from plane to plane, thrilling all blessed to see us. From tempestuous Ginny to belligerent redcaps, you'll find them all here. But enough of this. The circus is a place of joy and distraction, so uh, come inside and forget your worries. Uh, you know what? We're going to the circus. Fuck our responsibilities. <laughs> All right, I'd like to enter the circus. Not a problem, dear patron. Benji just has to check if you're a vicious murderer. Ooh. Benji? <laughs> that might be an issue. <laughs> Brain juice smells like piss and iron. No like. Oh, well, that's a first. Usually I'd allow you in, but in these times, I can take no chances. Move along. No circus for you. Well, I mean, Silatia does have an impressive body count, and I do mean that both ways. <laughs> I'm not a threat to you or anyone else in the circus. I swear it. Hey, that silver tongue coming oh, in handy. Damned if I'm not a sucker for big eyes and a heartfelt plea. Please. Very well. Thank Welcome you. Welcome to the circus of the last days. Have fun and be sure to catch the star of our show, Dribbles the Clown. Like, Silatia just turns with like this shit eating expression of just like, of course. we deserve Never a little treat, up. don't we? We're going to the Let's circus! Go. And like Shadowheart's kind of curious scales, like enthusiastic look, oh I can't wait to see. And Astarian is just glaring at her like I have a feeling this is some kind of karmic balancing thing or something like that. What did I do to piss you off so much that you would just drag me along? And she just grabs him by the collar, like, come on, darling. 
We just have some fun once in a while. I should arrest you all for gross negligence. Uh, what's happening? Keep a sharp eye out. Red caps are on the loose. One's deemed too violent to work. And not one of these circus folks seem bothered by it. Seems simple enough. The circus of the last days has returned. See Dryad's Gin and Dribbles the Clown back with a new act. I am very scared. My magic. I almost forgot to do your daily spells, Gail. And my daily spell. Where am I? What to do? Let's get that sweet with animals going, just in case. Moving in. Zara the mummy. Okay, we're talking to everyone. Okay. I'll try to read her thoughts. Very nice. Off to a good start. Does this also not understand common? Do you want to buy face paint? <laughs> I'd like to see your face paints. Mm. Oh no. I'm taking all of those dyes. Harlequin, black and white, light blue, muddy red, black and furnace red, blue. I already have some dye remover, but I like the idea of um, this one, that Feywild green. Oh, that could be really nice for my armor. Okay, I'm taking two of these because I want to try one. I'll quick save before I do in case it's awful. Okay. I'm gonna regret this, aren't I? Let's quick save. I'm gonna regret this. I'll load again if it looks absolutely awful. Did that do anything? <gasps> oh, it looks awful! Oh, it looks awful. I'm taking it off. Okay, we'll try the dye though. Oh my god, it's terrible. Oh, sweetie, you don't deserve that. No, no. <laughs> oh, baby, you deserve better. <laughs> don't you look at me like that. That's horrifying. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, I'm just going to try out the, uh, the dyes as well. And then I'll load... Let's save again and see how it looks overall. Oh fuck yes. <laughs> that is the colour palette I've been waiting for. Yes. Okay. Oh yes. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Okay. No. Like, it could be worse, but come on! I'm going to... Okay, I will load. I will... I'm gonna load. And I'm gonna save that clown makeup for when one of my companions really fucks up. And then, like, we put them in the clown makeup as punishment. <laughs> no! Okay. I'll keep it in my inventory as a threat. How about that? <laughs> but I do want more of this Feywild Green and Dun Dye. It looks perfect for her. Yes! Then 
There we go. Okay, everyone in this area looks, ama looks amazing. The hell did you just call me? Ugly, hideous, vile. You are fortunate to have found me, freakish one. Behold, Akabi's wheel of wonders. Spin to win prizes beyond your tiny imagination and make your miserable life more bearable. What kind of things can I win? Akabi has traveled across the plains, burning and conquering all. Win the spoils of such conquest. Or, if luck smiles upon you, win the grand prize, the jackpot. I see that, Paul. I see that poll. What are the results of that poll? I'm not committing to the clown makeup, okay, guys? Mm. What is the jackpot? No more questions. Spin or don't. <sighs> you know what? I have gold to burn. I'll spin the wheel. Let us see if you have last favor. Oh, there's some bullshit to this wheel, isn't there? Alas, no jackpot for you, ugly one. But you may have this. Thanks, I guess. You are welcome, putrid one. Return again to try and you. Oh my god, it gives out like joke D&D items. Reverse rain cloak. The wearer is perpetually just a little bit damp. Oh my god. <laughs> it des- It desaturates me, it just makes me like dripping everywhere. Oh my god, yes, that's incredible. I'm also keeping that inventory as like... When my companions fuck up, they're getting the rain cloak and they're getting the clown make. <laughs> Okay, let's have a look what the bards are up to. Viola Silvertongue at your service. You or look amazing. Look once my set is done. All right, I'll leave you to it then. I need a quick word. Darling, we have a customer. <clears throat> is your camp drab? Dreary, then you have come to the right place. Browse our bespoke stony and bony creations, or commission a statue in your likeness. It is our most sought after service. Stony and bony, which are you? Bony, at your service. <laughs> uh, that there is my darling wife, Stony. <laughs> Is she not magnificent? <laughs> I'm very happy for you two. Also, Lazy Leaf Gaming, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome. Yes, she's quite magnificent. To think she chose me. Why, I wake up every morning with a smile on my face. Uh, now, what can I do for you? Okay. I have an idea. Let's first see what he has. Oh, you shall be thrilled and delighted. I know it. Oh, can I sell some stuff to you? You have some gold on you and I can sell you some shinies. Okay, uh, I'm just going to get rid of some unnecessary trinkets. Yep, that works. Actually, can I sell that too? Yeah. 
Nothing caught your eye? No, I shan't tell my wife. She'd be most upset. Okay. So. A thought occurs. I want... Uh, I want to do... In my fun little mental RP moment. Um, upon that offer and she... And Silesia looks at the statues and see they look very nice. And she thinks about the... Um, beautiful statues and stuff that she has back at her estate. Um, one or two, like, portraits of herself, but she doesn't have a statue yet. So that immediately comes to mind of, like, okay, she wants a statue for herself. And then she glances over at Astarian, and, uh, she can tell that he's got a lot of compl complicated emotions about coming close to confronting Kazador. And then the thought occurs of, like, him not knowing what he looks like now as a vampire because of course like he can't see his reflection or anything like that and so then she gives a smile and she's like okay i'm gonna get one of myself and one of a starian so he can finally see what he looks like ah the adventurer returns care to purchase a bespoke stony and bony creation I'd like a statue of myself for my camp. Oh, my wife shall be delighted. Customs are her favorite, particularly when their facial structure is as unique as yours. It's okay. Oh, it's 5,000 gold. I'm, I have gold, but I don't have that much gold. So we, I might have to put a pin in this until we kill some more people. <laughs> uh, I don't have enough money. Oh. Then feel free to browse our workshop, but be quiet. My wife is at her creative zenith, and I do not wish her to be disturbed. Okay, I need to start getting more loot and more shinies. Maybe sell some stuff. She will come back for that, maybe. Hungry little hobgoblin. Want a treato? I have lots of treatos and magics and junks I finds. Ugh, don't worry. I only takes junks from dead people. I is nice. <laughs> Can we adopt him? Sorry, I love kobolds. I love kobolds so much. Like, okay, Silesia, she was fighting the urge and me. I'm also fighting the urge to just like, I know this is probably like very disrespectful, but she is fighting the urge so hard to like reach under his arms and just hold him up like a long cat. You know how they just like their lower body just flops down, just holding him up, just like, can we adopt him? Uh, how often do you loot corpses? Oh, lots of times. The beasts ate a kiddo the other day and I got some good stuffs. <laughs> I, I, I mean, uh, circus is safe. Do not uh, worry. Y yes. Let me see what you have. Yes! I have lots of stuff just for you. I love him. Oh, he's got little bits of garbage. I love it. Okay, shit I can sell. Sell that. Okay, what are some potions I'm just not using? All the resistance potions are probably very important. Or it's like potions that I'm just like, don't utilize. Oh, I'm gonna sell those potions of sleep, I can't imagine ever using those. Gonna hold on to that in that in case that's useful. Featherfall, Wizard's Bane. All my arrows are important. And I'm gonna sell some of these other scrolls that I'm just like not using immediately. Excess torch. That's more monk stuff. We don't have a monk in our party, so I can sell that. Sell that. 
So that's holding on to that holy water because that could be very useful for a fight later on. But I think I'm good for now. Bye bye now. Come back to Papa soon. I want to adopt you now, please. Is that leading to anything cool? That's leading maybe to cool things. I mean, it's not marked as like do not touch, so. I'm gonna quick save before I try to lockpick that. Symbol. Yes. I know, I love his little top hat! Oh. Graveyard. Anything interesting around here? B. Gardenson gave her life protecting fellow refugees. May the one who endures shelter her. Geshan Kirkaros built the open hand temple, gave all in his name. We honor their life and legacy. Nalo Essie, grief and illness laid ruin, yet her heart held only compassion. The broken god be with her. Oh, is this maybe the temple we need to go to? I'm not stealing from a temple. What are you guys talking about? I'm not doing anything weird. Nothing at all. Because this could potentially be the temple we needed to find. Um, no, that's maybe not the right way. Let's try if there's another entrance. Because I don't want to piss anyone off. Mikkel Hornkiss gave all to the lepers, fell to the malady himself. He is a beacon to us all. Dominic Sonny lost himself to addiction but found peace in Il Mater. Here we go. What's this one with the biscuits on it? Alvin Muffle Fieldwick gave his fortune to the poor, died in the arms of friends. He will be missed. Oh. Okay, there's a couple more. I, I like reading the tombstones. Millie Runbarrel, killed by the cult of the Absolute. May our martyred father shelter her unknown child and her dog who stood watch over her grave may they be reunited in Ilmater's grace brilgore fell to anger and rage taking father Logan with him may Ilmater forgive him oh the ones that have like a dirt mound that you can interact with nearby them oh they are Mm. I'm, I'm so tempted to interact and dig it up, but I'm not going to. Seems like a good moment to talk. Ah, Lucille! It's Pose Grapevine, then Pivot Step. Jacob! I love you. I the grace of my great grandmother's missing leg. Ah, and Boris. I love you. Boris, put some sensuality into those lovely hip bones. I know you have it in you. Step it up. I mean, if I had the powers to like raise the dead like that and command like skeletons, you could bet they would have a choreographed dance like for that full pizzazz. Absolutely. Uh, sorry for interrupting. Interrupting a massacre? Merkel, help me. These three make the art of dance look like a ritual sacrifice. I see those hands Call crawling in the background. Lucretius, ringmaster, necromancer, bringer of the night. Oh, and wine lover extraordinaire. Normally I'd invite you into my tent for a lovely vintage, 
But these graceless skellies need my full attention. Enjoy my circus, darling. I will leave you to your work. Um, that's... She's so cool. Ooh. Sorry. Someone there. Could you help me with Let's this, maybe? I read some behind the scenes for her, and the drag and the character notes were dressed as like a drag queen, and then later they just made her into a drag queen. Oh, hell yes. What is this place? Kitchen. Visitors kindly keep to common areas. Food will be served at meal times. Cause I okay, I'm trying to rack my brain of like what that symbol is with the hands and the rope. I mean, this could be a. I could be very very wrong. This could maybe be some kind of a brothel or something like that, or a bar of some kind, or a temple. Infirmary. Justice endures, even in suffering. It, okay, it's either a brothel, a temple, Belfry. or a jail. Ringers only past this point. Or all of the above, knowing Faerun. Oh, I have a feeling that's like a lot of people who are already well into this game know what this, this building is and are just like cackling behind my back. I want to adopt the kitty. Can I adopt the kitty? Another. Good. Why good? My time comes. I will show you. All of you. Show me what? Come on. Your secret is safe with me. Who's a good kitty? Who's a good kitty? Look. See. You grin. They laugh. They shine with innocence. But it is a lie. Every one of you is vicious. Cruel. You kill my meat. Steal my cubs. I roar. Break my cage. And then... You die. You all die! I'm going to look at what the cage looks like. Is this going to happen in like the next five minutes? Shit. The bars look sturdy. When exactly do you plan on killing everyone? Soon. Okay, I'm going to let that soon happen later. I will talk to them in just a second. I want to check out the rest of these very cool critters. Hi. You look so cool. My stomach screams. Press your flesh through bars. And and blood As someone who does um, have a range when it comes to creature voice acting, I respect whoever played this character, Crimson, because I have been on that side of the microphone making those noises into the microphone. It is awkward and they did an amazing job. You aren't getting a bite out of me. <laughs> Blood soaked, jaw rocks, feast on all, all. You must be the clown I've heard so much about. Buddy the dog is my very best friend. Do you know why? Why? Because with him, anything is possible. Uh, Gods, I hate clowns. <laughs> I'm not even sure clowns like clowns. 
did you hear about the Scarecrow who lost a fight? Okay. I'm... Okay, it would be kind of funny that Silatia has maybe seen Dribbles the Clown before, and she's just going to enjoy this. He got the stuff in, kicked out of him. Wahey! Uh -huh, uh -huh. Oh, you're all such good friends. I've had a wonderful time, but I have to go. Oh. Oh well, if you insist. <gasps> How about a magic trick? But first, I need a volunteer with nerves of steel and the heart of a lion. Who will it be? No. Who? The hair on the back of your neck raises as a shiver passes through you. Oh, no. You, my special assistant. Come on up. Oh, oh! I want to be such a dick. He's gonna hate me for this. I want to send a starion up. <laughs> no, no, wait! You guys are gonna vote. Um, okay. Uh, what, Sam? If you're still around, can you do a poll, a quick poll? Is it gonna be me? Is it gonna be Shadowheart? Is it gonna be a starion? Is it gonna be Gale? I'm gonna let you guys vote on this one. Oh, I see. Put the blame on us. Yes, I'm putting the blame on all of you. <laughs> All right, we've got a poll going. Come on. In the meantime, what are you guys' thoughts on this game? Is this a masterpiece? I think it's a masterpiece. Who goes on stage? Okay, everyone cast your votes. I have a feeling I know it's who it's gonna be and I'm willing to take this hit to our relationship. I'm willing to take this hit because he's been a sassy little fuck and he hasn't like been as like for, con, it, like honest with me about all like sharing his thoughts on what it is that we are and you know I'm open to communication about these things but apparently he isn't which is understandable given his background but you know what I'm only willing to take this so far so we're gonna have a little bit of balancing the scales aren't we Astarian? <laughs> Lazarum13, thank you so much for the follow. You came in at the perfect time. We're just voting on who is going to ascend the stage. <laughs> oh, fair enough. Rosen, it, it's all good. I'm, I have heard that a little bit about Act 3 of this game, but I'm going to just enjoy it at my own pace, so it's all good. So, yes, um, I think there's a certain someone in the party who needs to take a big slice of humble pie. Um, and get knocked off his high horse a little bit, but again, it's up to you guys to vote. Oh god, we've got down to like just under halfway left. Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? Mm -mm -mm. I know it's not gonna end well. I, I can I can feel it. Or it, I could be taken by surprise and you guys can completely gang up against me and vote me to go on stage and make an ass of myself. Oh, I, I, sen I see that sinister chuckling in chat. Oh yeah, Silatia licked a spider. Now it's Astarian's turn to suffer. You know what? That is very accurate. That is very, very accurate. Who's going on stage? Yes, it's Astarian. He's going to fucking kill me. <laughs> okay, so now that we know for sure, it's going to be a Starion. So she's like caught off guard for a second and she's okay with being in the spotlight and like being sent to stage for balls and galas and stuff. But then she thinks about how much sass a Starion's given her over the past few nights and her frustration about that. And, um,. The little, actually, the conversation they had last night about freedom and power and him wanting more power. She turns as her tail swishes playfully from side to side with this smile on her face. And she just goes, <clears throat> You love the spotlight, don't you, Astarian? Here's your big chance. What? No. 
Don't you dare. This isn't funny. Oh, my heart. The enthusiasm is too much. Now, up, up, double sharp. Oh, poor Buddy will think you don't like him. Right there. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Go on, Astarian. <laughs> of course. What fun. I'm going to fucking kill you. <laughs> I love you too, darling. You've got this. I I also wanted just that little moment. Oh, Astarian, he hates me. <laughs> you're going to fucking kill me. Oh, God. <laughs> now, you're very special. As special as can be. Does anyone know why? Why? You're special, my friend. Because I have a message just for you. Praise the absolute. I fucked up. Oh, I fucked up. I fucked up. Very well. Is this praise the absolute? I fucked up. Oh, no. Oh no. What? No, it's too many. Oh no. But just his reaction to that was fucking priceless so I am I don't care if it's going to shit that was funny as fuck <laughs> very nice Ah, oops, don't know why I did that. Aha! How? Okay. Oh, I feel bad. I'm sorry. We're doing a cone of cold, I think. Can't afford to let up. Staying right close to Gale. Get spirit guardians going. And let's get a spiritual weapon going right there. Hey, look, at least a star gets to stab the shit out of the clown, so... It all worked out, didn't it, darling? Don't waste a step. Oops. Good. Ah. Oh, I don't care if it's all going to shit, that was worth it. Nice. doing kind of okay but let's uh, not close enough yet it's okay and 
and to get a potion as well. Oh, now I need to know what Karlak's reaction is to being caught up on stage, because that could be fun. Spill some blood. What are they? Ugh. No choice but to keep going. Very careful. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. Ah. Uh, not going to last much longer. You're going to be okay, Shadowheart. Yeah. Still feel bad for that. Let's get you a little bit out closer over this way. There we are. Oh, they're doppelgangers. Shit. That's not good. This way a bit more. Okay. Like currently in the cage, so I can't do anything about it. Can I perhaps? Do something in the proximity while it's in the cage. Where do I go from here? Dance mean to fire damage. That's fine. On my way. Uh, let's get you a little closer then, dear. Mm. Damn it. Death is but a word away. Gail, let's get you out of there. A witch's bolt would probably be better for that. There we go. There we go. At least we didn't kill a real clown in front of an order. Yeah, at least we didn't do that. Or. Oh. I mean, it could have gone better, it could have also have gone worse. What's next? Actually, can you dismiss? Yes, dismiss the shadow beam. No one back home will ever believe this. Let's do a quick short rest to get everyone's hit points back. Let's go hurt someone. You just stabbed a clown in the face. I thought you'd be happy about that, darling. Okay, I'm not sure if I already read this, but I'll take a look. Long ago in the city of Mesoboranzan, a drow wizard called Zad studied magic at the Academy of Sorcerer. Uh, each ten days, the Archmage would ask Zad to demonstrate his newfound skills, and each ten days, Zad would fail. So uh, Sorcerer educates only the brightest of pupils, warned the Archmage. Your scholarship must improve, or you will be expelled. That very night, Zad slipped out of Mesoboranzan to seek the hidden library of Mind Flayers, Ondadol. The library there boasts the most complete body of knowledge in the whole of the Underdark. I'll learn that about all that is and ever was, vowed Zad. The Archmage will have no choice but to keep me. Yet the longer Zad searched for Onodol, the more lost he became. His body weak and his stomach empty, the drow fell to the ground and uh, Sorry, what was that? And uh, reality faded. 
Zad worked with a vast circular hall lined with tomes and tablets, untold knowledge etched upon them. Onadol, I made it, I will know everything, he exclaimed. A wide smile crossed Zad's face, he barely noticed the tank while wriggling just above his left eye. Yes, said a voice in Zad's head. Everything. Well, that didn't go well. Swift as my feet can carry me. I'm going to loot the clown. You're taking that. Clown hammer. Yes. Okay, word from tribunal. Froom, we see it in you. The thirst, the art, the fashion. The trail of cold, bloody murder you have left in your track needs only the finishing touches to grant you a place among his favoured. But he requires something truly magnificent. A circus has appeared boasting a collection of misfits and ragtags, but more importantly, a stage. Now comes the performance of your lifetime. When the curtain falls, the tribunal will be watching. Well, that didn't go well, did it? It was so worth it, though, to see Astorian's reaction. How's our relationship, by the way? Close. It's fine. Okay. What now? It's fine. Another step forward. If anything, he should be happy because he didn't have to do anything stupid or make a fool of himself. Ooh, what's that? And he got to like stab a clown in the face. He should be kicking up his heels and thanking me. Oh, poor rat. Hi, Ratty. Sorry for killing you, but Popper wanted the tasty hand you found. Lots love, Popper. <laughs> Popper's the name of that ghoul that was at the front smelling everyone. Oh, that. Mmm. That did not end well. Okay, that's the Urban Hand Temple. Was it the Urban Hand Temple that we had to take the necklace to? Let me just check. I think it was. Yes, it was. Okay. Elnia. How could this happen? To Dribbles? To my home? Can't believe we had to rely on a stranger to save us. No offense. It's fine. Uh, Astarian, actually, how are, are you still salty about that? Worms Crossing. The welcome mat of Boulder's Gate. This is it. I'm almost home. Okay, he's lost in thought at the moment. I might just check in in a hot second. Um, why does he look so good when he's covered in blood? That's not fair. Okay, I think that was everything. At least for now, everything. I have no idea what in the hell's happened back there, but I know me and my kid are standing because of you. Aww. Thank you. I did good. Did you talk to the dryad yet? No, I didn't. Not yet. I haven't talked to you yet, uh, Medrash, but we'll talk to the dryad first. The Pino. I want to have a word. Violence erupts here. My home. My refuge in this city of stone and steel. Your eyes, Stira. There is pain, endless and deep, but also devotion, blazing like the sun. You're in love, are you not? I do love someone. Someone close to me, actually. You are wise to admit it. When it comes to love, vulnerability is armor. Truth, a sword. And trust, a shield. I pray you wield all three, Stira. Bring the one you love to me. I will look into your hearts and see if your love is eternal, or doomed eternally. Oh, 
I'm curious. After that stunt she pulled. This is both hilarious and a little heartbreaking. After this, like, bit of strangeness that just happened. Starion's probably, like, salty, but he had some fun. He got to kill some people. And um, they kind of laugh about it afterwards. But then, like, they come to this and she's just, like, a little shaken because things have been, like, tense between them recently. But she's still curious and she's not, not, she doesn't know when this uh, opportunity will present itself again. Okay, and she pauses, thinks for a second, and she turns to Astarian. Astarian, are you up for this? Oh, my love. How could I say no? As he's covered in cloud blood. <laughs> Close your eyes, little ones. Be still as stone to earth. And remember to breathe. I see you. I see the bond between you. So tender. So fragile. But do you see it for yourselves? A starian. A tumultuous past hides behind a mirthful grin. The heart is fraught. So let us begin with the joyous. When is he happiest? She pauses for a moment and she thinks about what just happened, but then she thinks about what they've been talking about the past few nights. I... I don't think he's ever been happy. Excuse me! I've been happy! Thank you very much. I'm not right now, but whose fault is that? Fuck you. All affections face their trials. Your bond quivers, but it does not yet break. Many things delight the heart, but only one makes it sing. Tell me, what does he desire more than anything? Freedom. You're not wrong, but do we need to tell every stranger we meet our business? I want to try this again. Why am I getting this so wrong? I seriously thought freedom would be the right answer. The sweetest loves dance lightly on the tongue. But now we must dig deeper. Into the most painful reaches of the spirit. Fear sits in the soul of all. To tame it. We must name it. Astarian. What is his deepest fear? Okay, now I'm nervous. If I say that, is that saying too much or is that being honest? I kind of want to try this again. Fuck it. Forever feeling like a slave to someone else. Really? I mean, I mean, yes, but, but really? You just tell whatever stranger just walks up and asked? There is no need for secrecy here. You wear your truth so close to the skin. I have to say, you know me better than I thought. I'll have to be more mysterious in the future. Your bond is false. And I know why. Because your heart belongs to another. What? Close your eyes. 
And she will show herself to you. What? <laughs> so, you're the lick spittle who crushed the bone lord's throne. Did it say it's coming? <laughs> Begging, sniffing for our stones. Gortash won't like that. A throat his black hand can't choke the spit from. Oh, your bond will not save you. He will wrap its cord around your neck and make you swing from it. When you find the Lordling, tell him Oren is watching. is a shapeshifter how long has she been watching okay i'm gonna have, gonna, gonna have a chat to astarian see what his thoughts were on that because i'm not sure if i royally fucked that up like we still have a, an exceptional bond and he seemed frustrated but he still met me in the middle oh my god sorry like his relationship with silesia and the banter they have it's a combination of just like amazing and it feels genuine and real like they actually have their frustrations with each other but at the same time it's like i'm so scared about fucking this up it's not enough we have a gallery of villains to look out for but now we could be infiltrated by a shape changer I can't even tell if any of you are acting strange because you've been replaced, or because this group is full of weirdos! All very valid points, my love. I... One day Today sucks! Break. Today really sucks! Like, it feels like I, even though he disapproved, I got all those answers kind of right. Like, because he even remarked at the end of that, just like, I need to be more mysterious. Like, you know me better than I thought you did. Because, okay, one thing about Silesia that I'm kind of keeping in mind when, like, not just like writing her backstory, but kind of picking her options, is that I imagine her roughly about the same age as Shadowheart. So, she's quite young. Like, she's a noble woman, she's got worldly experience, but in a medieval setting when you're, like, in your late teens, early twenties, you have to, like, mature quite quickly. But I still imagine her to be quite young, and in that sense she's a little too... She's a little naive at times, a little idealistic, a little bit too romantic at times. So she thinks she's saying, like, the best thing at the time, but then she kind of smacks herself internally, and that's just not just, like, me as the player being like, Fuck! God damn it! I'd say you did get those right. Okay. Because it feels in my gut I got them right, even though he disapproved and was just like snippy about all of those. It felt like I got those right. It's so tricky to know. Our relationship is still fine and everything like that. I just have a feeling it's maybe more he disapproves of like you can actually see him as he is. Like his heart laid bare in some ways, rather than like just like all the bravado and everything like that so whenever i've been also kind of keeping it in mind like with uh because i imagine as a tiefling because she doesn't age like elves do uh tieflings i believe from my knowledge age like um humans and uh, half elves so i imagine silatia is maybe 23 22 23 or something like that about the same age as shadowheart i imagine shadowheart might be a bit older might be a bit younger it's tricky to kind of determine her age but with astarian he physically looks like he's in his 30s like he was changed when he was like with elves it's different but he physically looks like he's in like his maybe mid 30s or so um so there is like a notable age difference and so he kind of like does talk down to her a little bit but at the same time she's got that like that spirit and fire of youth where she's just like listen i'm trying my best with the knowledge that i have you can at least try to be a little grateful <coughs> i should speak up 
Okay, I'm not gonna bother you then because you're doing your thing. Well, I think this is kind of everything for the circus. I mean, we spoke to the dryad and I um, <laughs> nearly shit myself from fear because we got to see Oren. Uh, and that was both thrilling and terrifying. But actually, uh, sorry, now we walk for a bit. Do you have any thoughts about what happened with the dryad? Gosh, you're beautiful. Uh, he's distracted by my cheekbones, apparently. It's fine. Okay, let's have that long conversation when we, for when we get back to camp later. Let's try and return this amulet, actually. Yeah, open hand temple. Oh, is this the temple? Shit. What's going on? The priests will open the temple up again. You will see. They're good people. Holy people. Okay, what's up? What's going on here? Father Logan, as you did, we would never hurt him. We had nothing to do with his death. We swear it. The crying one weeps today. Our father Logan is dead. Murdered. Oh, uh, what happened? I... I don't want to talk. My heart is in mourning. Okay, who do I need to return this to? Shiro Clawen. Can we come in? You won't help us. Apparently so. Shh. Where is she? Shiro Clawen. Sister Yanis, but what is this? Look, investigator. Brilgor might have been a criminal, but he was no murderer. You're missing something. You have to be. Enough, Yanis. Listen to yourself. You are defending a man who ritually slaughtered your high priest. The evidence speaks for itself. Brilgor killed Father Lorgan, then, be it out of shame or profane duty, offed himself with the same blade. Case closed, Sister Yanis. I love Dungeons and Dragons. I love Dungeons and Dragons Shitty so much. Little elephant. Oh, um, I apologize, stranger. Language like that hardly befits a rector of Ilmata. It sounded like you were having quite the disagreement. You could certainly say that. Two people just died on temple grounds. A high priest, Father Logan, and one of the new refugees, Brilgor. Investigator Valeria thinks it's a murder and is content to blame Brilgor, the politically convenient target. What makes Brilgor politically convenient? Brilgor was a refugee. No one sticks up for them at the best of times, and with Gortash in power... Well, I expect the Flaming Fists will ban refugee aid now one of them's blamed for murder. I'm sure there are plenty of people from Baldur's Gate who still need your help. You think Ilmater looks at a Baldarian differently to anyone else? I like to think the gods are smarter than that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a temple to run and a high priest to replace. Where is this person I'm supposed to give the amulet to? Maybe she's in the back? I'll give it a shot. My sister Rose? What ails you? Marsh fever? Feather lung? Be quick, I've not got all day. 
Hey Mike, how's it going? I'm sorry they've been quiet and lurking. I just looked over and just need to let this out. Is that a flying baby elephant? Yes it is! Oh, I love this game. Why, do you, why are you so busy? I told Logan we didn't have enough to spare all the refugees. I knew it was a bad idea. Now I've got a dead priest to deal with as well. I heard about Father Logan. I'm sorry. I'm sorry too. Sorry we ever let these heretics into our midst. One of the refugees killed him. Cruelly too. They cut off his hand, sawed right through the bone. I found a paralytic poison on one of his wounds. Logan was alive while they took the hand. He just couldn't scream. It's sick. We give them everything, and all we get is nothing but a good man to bury. Mm. Valeria is a hollow font, which is one of the stranger types of celestials. They come from planes like the Beastlands or Mount Celestia. That makes a lot of sense. Uh, like, they're so cool. I don't know a lot of like the smaller uh, creatures uh, that are classified as celestials in D&D, but that makes a lot of sense and they are very cool. Let's have a little look around, try and find this person. Are they up here in this tower, maybe? Apparently not, but there is this very shiny necklace up here. Wait, is that a Tressim? One second. Can can I top the can I top the kitty? Okay, quick save. Gail, get your ass down here. One with the weave. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Time to press ahead. Gail. Mr. Dakarios, heavens! Fancy seeing you here. Tara! That can't be you, can it? I suppose you won't be terribly shocked to find your old friend Tara amongst the pigeons. They've always been a personal favorite. My, is that a ring? For us? Oh, you shouldn't have. Enjoy yourself now, Tara. Looks like you've got yourself set up quite nicely here. What's your Tresim doing here, Gail? Mm. She isn't my Tresim. She's my friend. And from the looks of things, it appears she's eating pigeons. Uh, can you ask her to stop eating pigeons? Oh, right. Did you hear that, Tara? Um, stop it? Well, these must be important birds indeed, Mr. Dakarios. Forgive me for feasting on their bodies and bones so very voraciously. Oh, she's agreed. Just about. I love her. She's so cute. Okay. Collection of letters, though. Okay. I imagine these are all, like, Gail's mail, so I'll give them to Gail to read. A lengthy letter from a Baldarian pa uh, patriarch to an unknown correspondent. It describes in no uncertain terms how both parties could profit from a war. A concerned citizen writes to clarify his economic situation so that they are taxed accordingly. It's a nightmare of epic proportions that would make an accountant cry. Oh, is this like mail she's taken from the pigeons, the messenger pigeons? The special direct attention of Roa Moonglow only. Look, be it far from me to question sent directives, but you can't just take from every animal without consulting me first. That iron flask you skimmed from the last shipment was exceptionally valuable, and there 
We've lost the Vanthopers as clients for good now. If you just do me the warning first, I could smear this sort of thing out, uh, sort of thing over. Danzo, be careful with that iron flask. There's something about it. Felt like it's watching me. Weird. At least things have stayed interesting. Thank you for the hydrate, Chuck. Wait, and move. My special direction of the Royal Mowing Blur only look royal. You, you city Zen have always been consummate professionals to me, so I don't understand why the Joaquin's rest cell is so useless. I was supposed to receive several items from them a few days ago, but I've had absolutely nothing. Could you put out some feelers? Zaris doesn't like doesn't answer my correspondence anymore from Danzo. We've had quite a few moments of um not approving but honestly i'm in like the top green for everyone so i should be fine let's see let's try and find a good spot where i can jump down Too bad. We would never hurt him. We had nothing to do with his death. We swear it. Come on, guys. You want to let those thugs get away? Can't stay idle. You'll be fine. Nothing that a short rest can't fix. I know it's a little bit of a hype, but I'm at least not jumping off the tall tower. Uh, no, we haven't found the iron, that iron flask. We're still, like, familiarizing ourselves with the area, so no, we haven't. Reach the Urban Hand Temple. We should look for the spirit's granddaughter. At the ready. I'm doing my best, but we haven't had any luck so far, but I'll look around the other side. Most. We haven't looked in here yet. Kitchen. Visitors kindly keep to common areas. Food will be served at meal times. Person. Hmm. I'm just gonna chat to everyone, see if I've I can find them. I have to say already. Now I just want to pack up my kitchen and leave. You ready to talk to the investigator? <laughs> investigator? That miniature mastodon is about as much use as rats in the pantry or flies in the soup. Father Lorgan's gone. Murdered. And now they're blaming a refugee for it. So you don't think Brilgor killed him? No. Brilgor was a nice bloke. He came a couple of times for soup. Potato chowder was his favorite. Didn't seem the murderous type. But what do I know? Can you think of anyone who'd want to kill Logan? Some folk didn't like how he looked after the refugees. But I don't think they'd kill him for it. At least... I hope they wouldn't. That's a scary thought. Where in the hell is this person? Might be down there. Let's see what this does. Okay, this temple is surprisingly big, so... Okay, yes, just came from there. This looks to be the bunks of the temple. There's no one down here. Oh, this is more like communal resting areas. Where are they? Yeah, in 
might be that she's not here, but I'm kind of scratching my head like, uh, I mean, the quest was indicating that she should be here somewhere. Yes, can I help you? There we are. I need to speak with an initiate of yours, Shira Klawen. Uh, where is she? Shira? I can tell you where to find her, but you might find the conversation rather one-sided. She's buried in the temple crypt. Passed only last year. Poor thing. Well, that's why I didn't find her. Okay! I'm an asshole. Okay. Okay, can we go out the side? I'm a dick. Yes, let's head out this way. We'll go through to uh, the graveyard. And, um, hmm. Uh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Well, that just happened. Speaking of voices, Steph, I love the voice used for Salacia. It's so soothing. I can listen to that uh, just that for an hour. Oh, you're too kind. Thank you. It's kind of a combination between just like my natural accent and a little bit more of an English accent and just like a certain polish, a certain delight in the way that she uses her words. Buried her in the crypt. That has to be the crypt, right? Uh, maybe we could try talking to the amulet? Okay, I'll equip it so we can have a little chat. Thou shalt return to me! <laughs> Thou shalt have my blessing! I'm afraid your granddaughter has passed away. Oh, no, no! This cannot, must not, shall not be! <laughs> you must open her tomb in the open hand temple post haste. She may bless us even beyond the veil. <laughs> You feel a chuckle coming on, but it soon fades. Mm. Okay, because that looks to be the crypt. Is there a difference? Hang on. Is this the entrance to it? Mmm, that might be the entrance. Oh, can we get in trouble for trespassing though? Oh, yes, I think there was a, um, a hint of a hatch somewhere, so let's go do that rather than try and go through the door that's highlighted very much in red. I think it was in the kitchen. Could be wrong. I think it was here. Well, that's promising. Hmm. Anything of use? Have a little look down here. Something feels weird. That is a awful lot of blood. Did a murder happen here by per per chance? A book of Il Ilmatari death rites. This page on the turning is particularly dog-eared. 
There will come many a time, O worshipful tormented, and that you will have to comfort a faithless unfortunate as they pass from this life to the next. Or perhaps even more distastefully, you may be faced with the dying acolyte of a wretched god, keen to shirk the blasted afterlife awaiting them. The Lord on the Rack grants us a great many powers, but altering the mortal velocity of a soul is one we cannot shift on the deathbed. If one has lived a life of sin, their soul is bound to a, for a sinful place, no matter their final protestations. However, it would do... How, how, sorry. However, it would do much more harm than good to tell them this. Ill-mated does not forbid the speaking of untruth, no matter how polite society deems the act. If it would spare the dying wretch some suffering as they pass, tell them that the weeping god waits them with his balming embrace. Make them believe. Whatever torment their soul bears in the realms beyond, it remembers not their body. So spare them at least this final passing moment of hardship. More for me. In collection of Father Logan's writings on despondency, perhaps the hardest suffering to ails is that which dulls but does not pang. Weariness sits deep within one's soul, but it casts its miring net across the surface, dampening all errant thoughts and feelings in its wake. Malaise of this sort it can rot the heart, if left to fester, but must be extricated carefully. Above all else, the weary soul knows itself better than you can. Do not condescend, do not assume, do not impose. Simply avail yourself as a tool to the weary. Let them know you can be used however they might need. Something weird happened down here. Plea of rest, a hastily scrawled and slightly damp plea of rest, requesting to be filled of ill mater service for the duration of a uh, ten day, as the writer mourns Father Morgan. Okay, let's try this way first. Because I like being thorough and exploring everywhere. I'll be taking that. The would-be saint. The book tells of a story of a patriarchal woman who gave up her fortune to become a cleric of Ilmater in service of in the outer city and now seeks to be canonized after her death. Herein is the full account of the bid of my bid to be canonized after my death, the Saint Brigid of Ilmater, the broken god, he of compassion and mercy, the one who endures. I know, whenever I fail at a perception check, it just like spikes my anxiety so much. I lived a blessed life of every privilege a uh, patriarchal woman can fathom. My parents were loving and generous, my community warm. Our larder was always full to bursting, but in the years after the de death of uh, Saravok, my eyes were opened to the world as it is, a world of pain and danger, a world where evil, if left unchecked, can thrive. I realized that my blessings had a cost. Why had I so much when others had so little? I could no longer remain in the gilded Elysium of the upper city and sought to see the world as it truly was. Miracles of the Outer City. Traps. How considerate. That means there's something cool in there. A record of alleged miraculous phenomenon in the outskirts of Baldur's Gate attributed to Ilmater. Customer Gilder Ang Angler Angularian reckons he healed up mighty quick from a painful forge burn. Asked if Ilmater had something to do with the irks of talkative gent outside Carmen's powerful ancient of suffering. Uh, soup is still showing up at refugee camp, even after the temple closed. Kitchen, curious. Man, ha, uh, man's hands tied together in horse reins, claims he's a holy symbol. Nesta reports feeling close to his duty since relocation to refugee camp. Trust no one. Uh, darling, could you help me with this? Yes. I know, it's already been two hours. Time flies amazingly Lost quickly. With pleasure. Never a dull moment. I'll be taking that, thank you. On my way. Must be where Shira Clarwin is buried. Where? Which one is she? Let's just do a quick save because I'm paranoid. Here lies Flintster Sunseeker, born 1400 DR, died 1456 DR. 
Okay, I probably should have seen the plaques before I started pushing them open, so let's do that. Here lies Sister there we Shira are. Clarwen, date of birth unknown, died 1491 DR. Here it is, the tomb of the amulet spirit's granddaughter. <laughs> Time for a family reunion. Faithful to the crying god, long didst I wait, only to find thine empty flesh. Gone, thou might be, alas. <laughs> What's going on? What's up? Are you going to do anything, or...? Oh, shit! This is, um, happening. Oh! I don't like this! Her spirit has fled, and her body but merely a husk. <laughs> Swear I did to shed this foul mania and bestow it upon Shira. She was to endure, to suffer, as was her god Ilmata's want. Who now shall bear the madness Shah has wrought on me, so I might no longer suffer? Oh! <laughs> Shall it be thou? No, thank you. No, I'm not going to go mad for someone I barely know. I'll roll Arcana first to know what the consequences are. The monk himself holds your answer. Tasha's hideous laughter is a powerful skill, but earning it may come at the cost of wisdom. Mm -mm. No, I need wisdom as a ranger in order to cast my spells, so... Gods, no! I don't want to inherit your curse. <laughs> well, if laugh I must, let our alliance end on a lark. Oh, fuck you, dude. Nice. Still breathing, despite everything. Nice. Good, good, good. Let's get you right in the middle and get some spirit guardians going. I know, I wasn't expecting Tales from the Crypt this uh, happening tonight, but you know what? This is fine. This is fine.
already got that going. Very good. And I've just got one more. Can't believe this is how this quest ends. Well, he made his choice. Things happen. So I'm just going to loot these bodies and then we're going to get out of here. They do have some very nice stuff on them. That hit the spot. But I'm glad that that quest is done. Don't waste a step. All this blood is concerning though. Ugh. That's a mood in this game, like you just walk in and see oodles of blood and just go, well that is concerning. Well, let's get out of here and keep looking around. Have to take a look at that. Those, poor, those pictures of Gortash. What Enver Gortash, the people's man, the gate's protector, and filled with bullshit. Delivery not guaranteed. Wait, delivery not guaranteed? Well, we've had to change the policy. Hard to send letters by road when there's a rampage and army of fanatics bearing down on you. That's fair. I'll tell you, it's left me in a right pickle. I've sent what I can by pigeon, but now something's attacking them and all. Oh, and that's what Become a postmaster uh, the Tresson was doing. It'll be easy. Nobody mentions having to spend your evenings hunting for pigeon carcasses, do they? Silas is going to be a little shady. Oh, you must be particularly keen to retrieve the Xanthorum letters about the Iron Flask. You... you read it? Technically, that's interfering with someone else's property. I should report you to the nearest manip. Tell you what. Give it here, and we'll say no more about it. I'll give you a nice little bonus as well. A finder's fee. What do you say? Oh, 
small. It'd be a shame if anyone told the Zenthrum you lost this. A real shame. I'm a little shit tonight. Fine. Just give me the letter. Forget you saw anything. This never happened. Sure thing. <gasps> oh, yes. I'll take that 600 gold. We have the letters finding one to the Zen room. Press Master Denso gave you a tidy sum in exchange for your silence. Effort, but you can't fool me. You're not a dog. So what the hell are you doing in my kennels? Um. Oh, um, I kind of don't want to mention Scratch in case she's like, oh, thank you, give him back. No. Scratch is our baby now, and I don't want to give him back. Maybe Scratch could do his friend, though? I'd like to buy a dog. They're not for sale. These are courier dogs, trained to follow orders, read maps, and protect their deliveries with their lives. They're worth more than their weight in gold. Oh, I'm definitely not going to mention Scratch, for now. Unless it's something like it leads to a really cool quest, maybe. Then I'll maybe mention Scratch. But for now, I'm just going to keep a, a very, very, uh, apparently very valuable dog on the down low. Because he's our dog. I've been failing a lot of perception checks, and that, mm, that hasn't been great for my anxiety. Sword Coast Couriers. Yeah, let's look around a little bit more. Does there's anything curious that catches my eye? Because I think, like, the, um... Ooh. Actually, do you have anything useful for sale? Welcome, adventurer. I take it you're new to Rivington. No doubt you came here to choose from my fine selection of weapons. Yes, I seem to have it all. Clubs, swords, maces, bows, cutting and gutting galore. Why don't we see if we can find the perfect weapon for you? How will you know my perfect weapon? I provide a personalized service for my customers to make sure the weapon I choose is the perfect fit. I've had my bow for a while now, though. How do you like to kill? I kill quietly and with precision. My prey never sees me coming. I see. Playing to your strengths. Keeping things simple. And when you kill someone, what do you feel? This feels like very Orin sort of questions to be asking. I... Orin, is that you? Come on. My skills keep me alive. I feel no shame in using them. Killing holds no fear for you, does it? You understand what it takes and what it gives. One more question, if you'll humor me. Do you think you could turn your weapon on those closest to you? I would never kill someone I cared about. You'll do so much worse by the time I'm done with you. I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it! Orin, I can smell your bullshit. Oh, still rolling in the muck, I see. Gortash knows you are coming. Knows you have the Bone Lord Stone. Do not let him hiss hot air into your worm weakened brain. He'll find your weaknesses, stick a knife in the cracks, and prize you apart. Unless you get him first. <laughs> Remember, his throat spits lies, but my blade carves the truth. You will read it on your skin soon enough. She's toying with 
me. What does she want? I mean, ah, yeah. you try attacking me when we back isn't turned, you bloody coward. Mate, it wasn't me. I didn't attack you. I've been out here the whole time. Don't dare lie to me. I saw you with my own eyes. Grinning at me like some bloody imbecile. She took our form. I'm gonna knock that smirk right off your face. You had a blow to the head. Are you sure you're remembering correctly? Shadowheart, help me. That's what inspiration's for? Come on. There we go. Well, I... I'm sure it were you. I'm almost certain. Ah, God's be damned, I don't know. I'd have sworn, but my head's pounding. I don't remember. I need a bloody drink. Go on, clear off. I've seen enough of your face today. But I wanted a new bow. Fine. Oren had to come and spoil everything. God damn it, Oren! I'd be angry if you wasn't if you weren't just so irresistibly gorgeous. This is fine. This is absolutely fine. Oh, thank you for the hydrate check. I wonder what brought that on. Oh, shit. What's up? Um. I just lost a wager, thanks to you. Who are you? Someone who bets that you'd never be foolish enough to actually show your face in this city again. But here you are. And the gold in my purse is soon to take flight. Our hearts bleed for you, get to the point. There have been whispers about you, sister. About your faith, your loyalty, your company. Excuse me? I can't help but feel the strangest twinge of disgust as I look upon you. Is it true? Has our lady forsaken you? I'm gonna let Shadowheart handle this because this is her sh stuff. I know the truth. I know my parents still live. Tell me where they are, and I have no quarrel with you. I'm afraid the quarrel is unavoidable, thanks to you. Now I must report your reappearance. If you are intent on bringing matters to a head, then seek out the House of Grief in the Lower City. Though, if I was you, I'd be very tempted to just forget it all and disappear. You have some form of doing so, after mm. all. I'll admit, I don't not love Orin showing up and threatening us. Like, honestly, all she does is threaten us with a good time whenever she appears. Like, I'm... Like, Salacia is much more on edge of just like, oh shit, because like, Orin actively wants to kill her. But at the same time, she's like... I can't tell if you want to, like, skin me alive or seduce me, and I'm kind of curious about both of those options. Macon! Oh, hi! Uh, if you're here to save me again, I don't really need to be saved right now. Good thing, huh? Bye! Aww! You made it through, you little scamp. You did me a real favor clearing all those ghouls out of Moonrise. That old bonebag Ketherick had some fancy junk stashed behind all the cobwebs and piles of gore. What do you think of Baldur's Gate? Wish I could tell you. We're stuck out here, but most of the action is beyond Worms Crossing. You looted Moonrise Towers. Didn't you? Figured we only got the scraps you didn't have the strength to carry. Show me these fancy items you have on offer. Anything magical? Would I try to fool a sharpie like you? Have a look. What have you got? Okay. Mostly potions. Ooh, 
cloak of cunning broom. When the wearer disengages, they also create a foggy cloud uh, with two meter radius that lasts for one turn. Hmm. Interesting. Acrobatics, armor class. What does the Starion have? He has uh, those ones that do Misty Step, and I think that's more important. Holy hand soap. The slogan, holy hand soap for washing your hands of dirt, muck, and even blasphemy adorns this rudimentary, rudimentary bottle. That's amazing. Corvid token, boon of the Raven Queen. While wearing this amulet, the wearer's jump and flying speed increases by 1.5 meters, and they can cast Featherfall. Featherfall's effect will persist while the wearer is polymorphed or wild shaped. Oh, oh, that would be so cool. Like, I want, I want to keep my Beastmaster one. But if I was playing like a cleric of the Raven Queen, that would be so cool. Hmm. Do I have anything worth selling? I have some shiny things. Nothing exceptional though. Stay away from trap chests. I'm doing my best. I haven't come across any mimics yet. What nonsense is going on around here? Because I care about the tieflings a lot. Oh, gods. Not another protester. Go talk to Nestor if you must. I've got plenty on my plate with these mewling geese. Fine, fine. Where's Nestor then? Refugees can't stay here in Rivington. We're to all of us. <laughs> Donations? Um, donations for what? Do you not have eyes? The refugees. If you don't have anything to donate, you can get going. Mm. Actually, I think I'll hang on to it for now. Very giving of you. Now go waste someone else's time. Look, I sold some stuff directly to one of the kids, so I'm at least putting, like, gold in their pockets rather than, like, one of the flaming fists. So I maybe will pocket some pieces for themselves. I don't know if that's right, but at the same time, like, I'm very skeptical of people around here. Let's keep looking around. You see the city? Up on the hill. There's up there, and here. That might be worth a look. Oh, more stuff for me to dig up, yes. Nice, I'll be taking that. Not sure if anything's useful in here, but I would like to be thorough. Mmm. Oh, good. Everyone failed that. That's fine. Just want to be thorough with checking everything out. Honestly, a lot of tonight is just like the circus and just familiarizing myself with the town because this is all completely new to me and I'm trying to be as uh, thorough as I can be. Don't see it. 
He's a good dog. You're a good dog. Yes. Oh, goodness, yes. I am a good dog. Fantastic stuff. Oh, yes. You're lovely. You can come back. <laughs> this is the game that said you can not only pet the dog, but you can actively praise the dog and the dog will answer back. Okay, it looks like it's mostly just refugee refugees uh, milling about here. Zoru! Oh shit, Zoru, how are you doing? So, you survived. That's more than many of my kin can say. At least you made it. How are you holding up? It's mainly anger that keeps me going. Zevlor was supposed to lead us, but he froze when we needed him most. I haven't seen him since the massacre on the road, which is lucky for him. Wait, did he not make it? He should have made it here. I rescued him. I got him out of, like, thing. Is he not here? Oh, shit. I might have fucked up. There's the curious. This map is probably going to be pretty big. We've already done a lot of stuff already. I'm just trying to familiarize myself for like stuff later, I think. Because I am feeling quite tired, so we might be inching towards like wrapping things up for tonight. But we'll do a long rest and see if any of our companions have anything to say. Yeah. I didn't mess with the gin. I uh, rolled uh, the wheel, or I spun the wheel, and uh, we got the cloak, and that was wonderful. Ugh. We're as desperate as the rest of these savages. They just had the sense to move quicker than us. This seems like a whole lot of mess. I'm just mostly looking around, trying to get to know where everyone is. Ooh, Digging up treasure where I can. Oops. Take that. Oh. Oh no. The... That's a uh, that's a lot of gur. That's a uh, that's a uh, that's a lot of gur. Oh no. Oh no. Um I saved. I want to see what happens if I talk to them with a starring in my party. Oh, he's going to be pissed. The hunter has nothing to say to you. He seems to have other things on his mind. Okay. You think you can just walk into our camp? Present yourself to Alma or leave. Okay, which one of you is Alma then? There you are. Rechtei hathran rust. Frey, valdisk durovna. Frey, valdisk ablast. You recognize the funeral rites of the Gur people. The same monster hunters you met in the Hag Swamp. Their leader is burning the possessions of those who have fallen. Im orak. Nete. Krasin. Netra.
try not to look so, look so conspicuous the star in. spawn walks among us in the blazing sun <gasps> okay we have been looking for you what do you want with a star in? the last time your friend came to our camp he stole our children our future when we sent Gandrel after you, we wanted to interrogate you, to discover how to save our children, and then destroy you. But things have changed. You have changed. Is it true you left your master? That you broke the spell that binds you to him? Uh, well, I, I mean, uh, kind of. It's a long story, honestly. What business is it of yours? For those your friends stole from us, it is a matter of life and death. We have tried to save our children once already, attacking Kazadorzar's palace at first light. Even then, it was too well defended. But if his own spawn approached, someone he thought he could control, he would throw his doors open and welcome you in. And once inside, you could do what we could not. You could save the children you damned. You don't know Casador like I do. He's merciless. You want me to march into the lion's den and save your children. But I promise you, they're already dead. How can you be sure, Astarian? I spent two hundred years bringing him victims. Each and every one was whisked away to be fed on that night. But you never saw him feed yourself. He could keep prisoners for days before killing them. If our children are truly gone, then we ask for blood. I know you can understand that, Spawn. Oh, shit. Because I don't want to talk over Astarian with something this important. And I don't want to say, like, oh, now you owe them, like, because he was under the compulsions of Kazador. He didn't want to do that to those people. Oh, shit. I genuinely don't know which one to pick. Because if I say, like, we can't help you, there's nothing more to discuss, then that feels like a massive fuck you when, like, clearly they have every right to be pissed. Oh, God. So the first one is talking over him and saying, like, okay, if you won't do it, then I will. The second one is, like, you owe them, which, I mean, it kind of feels like it's probably the best fit. Oh. I'm going to pick the second one. You owe them revenge, Astarian. If nothing else, you owe them that. I suppose. Yes. Yes. Revenge. I can do. Thank you. Okay. From me and all my people. If you can do this, we will be in your debt. You have lived a life of violence and sin. You have stolen lives, broken families, and caused immeasurable grief. Doing this will not right those wrongs. <laughs> if you're trying to encourage me, you're failing abysmally. But it will be a start. You may still be redeemed. Please go. Time is short, but we will see you again when it is done. Okay. That went better than expected. Because I genuinely didn't know if he would take it of just like, um, and what do I owe myself after everything that I've been through? Blah, 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 blah. 
So I'm glad that it went that direction because like, okay, now that we're in like the final stages of a lot of side quests and stuff, I am filled with so much anxiety when it comes to picking dialogue options for certain conversations because I'm genuinely so scared of fucking things up. So, mm, all the anxiety. But Pod, thank you so much for the follow. <laughs> Ah, oh, do you have any thoughts on that little chat? God, you're beautiful. Other than just say, speaking the truth once again. We will discuss that later. When we get back to camp. I just want to like explore just a little bit more. Oh, and then that's the bridge to Walter's Gate, I think. God, this... This game is so gorgeous. And let the marshal all their strength against them. I do not like our chances. How are we going for the map? Quick glance around here. Taking all of those. <gasps> Where is that coming from? It's coming from this general direction, maybe? Let's head back down here. Oh, is that... Shares's caress. I think we'll save Shares's caress until next time, which will be next Friday because this Sunday we're going to be finishing up um There's something happening to it. Oh no. A part of me feels like we should see at least what that is before we go for a long rest cuz mm that is that's not good. This is front page material. Ah, are you trying to get into the city? Got a minute to tell me about your experience at the gate today? Uh, slow down a second. Who are you? I'm Lens, roving reporter for the Boulder's Mouth Gazette. My editor sent me to cover the drama out here at the gate. He wants some fluff piece about the heroic steel watch keeping the mob at bay. Whether or not that's the truth or not. And what do you think is the truth? That the refugees here are desperate, hungry, scared people. They're no mob. They just want to be safe. I've heard the rumours. Absolutists marching from Moonrise Towers. Whole towns felled by strange curses. It's no wonder they ran. Of course, I can't write any of that. My editor only releases stories his mm. friend Lord Gortash approves of, and he's very selective. Mm. I'd love to speak with your editor. Where can I find him? At the Gazette's print house. Though it's in the lower city, so you'll need to get past the gates first. Come to think of it, you remind me of someone he was writing a piece about. Oh? You, uh, might want to speak to him about that. Set the record straight before the ink is dry, so to speak. No, if you don't mind, I've got some edits to make. Mmm. Oh, are they spreading lovely, very That'll flattering propaganda about me, maybe? Outsiders. Okay, we'll talk about the gate first, but I did see someone mention we should have a look at the windmill. So that was back up here, I believe. Yes. Where are we? Okay. Uh, Starring, could you unlock this for me, darling? That does not sound good in there. I've got a long road ahead. 
Everything's fine. What's going on in here? Oh. Shit. Hey, buddy. Something's on my mind. Before you lies the unconscious body of a mind flayer, glistening and raw. A newborn. Unattended. How fortunate. Excuse me? Uh, it doesn't feel very fortunate. Oh, but it is. This one has only just transformed. It is weak, vulnerable. Its potential ripe for harvesting. No. Go on. Kill it. Absorb its power. <sighs> I'm... I'm going to attack it to put it out of its misery, but I'm not going to take the tadpole. Oh, shit. What? No! I've had so little time! We got this, guys! Let's go. Yes! Very nice, my love. Wow. The creature was born recently. Its mind is still fresh. You can absorb its potential if you consume it. No. How many times do I have to tell you? Again, in advantage on insight checks. We'll be taking that brain though. Absolute orders. True soul, uh, Alayan, your I'm time exhausted. has come. Better find somewhere to camp soon. Mood. Um, your time has come. The absolute calls to all faithful, and you have been faithful indeed. Leave your barracks, leave your armor, leave all insignia of rank behind. You are part of the flaming fist no longer. You have been a tr loyal true soul, and soon you'll be so much more. You'll be one of us. Mmm. Well. How much farther can I go? I put them out of their misery. The sinner is demanding that the mill pay off his debt, lest his creditors oust him and claim the mill for themselves. Mm. Curse to put Let's my just get out of everything. here. Hey, Scarlet, how's it going? Um, We've had an interesting stream. We're actually not going to be going for too much longer just because I'm very, very tired tonight. And uh, we seem to be coming to a good point to wrap things up. We've mostly explored this area of like the lower city. Uh, we had a fun day at the circus. And uh, a starring got very pissed at us for two reasons. One, I dragged him up on stage or I encouraged him to go on stage and that his reaction to that was priceless. And then two, we had a lovely moment with uh, the dryad and uh, Astarian wasn't happy at all that Silesia could read him like a book. That's how I'm choosing to interpret it, at least. Okay. Let's pause there and do our long rest, and then we'll head towards the bridge. Hey, cute fox, how's it going? Thank you. Oh shit. Mm. Queen Vlakis. Skrull. You are a Sherlock. And still you speak my name. I've seen the captive Orpheus with my own eyes. Spoken to Shestil Kithrak Voss. You lied to us. Enslaved us. The betrayer Voss lies! I have only a moment, and you, Hasharlak, will listen. We are Githyanki. We move mountains. We snuff out stars. We shake the plains. The 
Traitor Voss has lied to you. The heretic prince would shatter us in an instant. The great Dominion shrunk to the head of a pin. Can this be true? Is the Gith Yankee prince really a threat to his own people? Or simply a challenge to Vlakith's rule? Return to the Astral Prism! Slay Orpheus the Pretender! Serve me, and I will ascend you. You will be no mere warrior, nor Kithrak. You will be Barta Vlakith, Commander of Dragons. My only, my chosen. A final chance. Kneel before me. Make your promise. Mm. Lizelle's thoughts become yours. The sight of Orpheus looms over her mind. Voss's words echo within it. She means to forever turn her back on Vlacket. Fuck yes. Do it. Do it. Stand your ground. Don't fall for Vlacketh's lies. I gave you my faith, and you called me traitor. I gave you my life, and you ordered your knights to hunt me. I have witnessed too much, and you have given me too little. Finally, I can see. Orpheus will live. And I will hear his creed. This is my word. Your word is nothing. You are nothing. The Kithraki will win you. I will tear your flesh from your bones and devour your skull's marrow while you beg for death. I will consume you. Mm. I'm so proud of Lazel. Oh, I'm so proud of you. Where are you? Lazel? A private word would be nice. It is done. There is no going back. As long as the Undying Queen reigns, I am never to soar unbound over the Astral Sea. Never to cross the one in the void. As it should be. Better a short life built on truth than immortality woven of lies. Better to unite the Githyanki under a prince who would free their minds and honor their bodies. So why do I feel so bitter? I'm going to roll inside. I don't want to like poke her mind using the parasite because I have a feeling that probably makes her very uncomfortable when I do that. Vlacketh has upended Lazel's whole existence. Everything she knew to be true, oh. every plan and aspiration she ever held has been painfully ripped away. Lazel's bitterness is born of sadness. She is mourning the loss of the person she once was. And can never be again. Like, Lazelle's puppy dog eyes when she's sad or excited just absolutely tear my heart out in, like, the best and worst possible way. You're grieving the future you'll never have. Blacketh took everything from you. How well you've come to know me. But in truth, she didn't take everything. I have what I have gathered for myself. I'm more to a new regent, a new land, a new allies. Vlacketh cannot unmake she who no longer exists. And so from the old battle cries is birthed another. Tmar Salah Orpheus must still now forge an Yeri. Orpheus is will above all. May the comet blaze my path forward.
What next? We find Voss at Charesse's caress and retrieve the key to releasing the prince. Orpheus tough King Narsen. Hell yes. Okay, we'll talk about Orpheus uh, later, I think. Um, kid? What are you doing here? I gave you food. That wasn't an invitation to stay with us, so okay. Um, hi. It's me, Yenna. You remember me, right? Yes. You were really nice to me before, and, um, my mum hasn't come back yet. She might come later. I don't think she's coming. Could we maybe stay here? Oh. If the child's desperate enough to seek safety in our company, who are we to turn her away? Okay, to be fair, the glancing over at Astarian covered in blood. Astarian li literally said earlier tonight that he couldn't tell who was a shapeshifter because our camp is full of weirdos. I mean, we have a weird bunch as is, but at the same time, we have an Albert Cub, we have a uh, Scratch the Therapy Dog, we also have uh, Arabella, who might be in need of a friend her age, maybe. So, listen. We're adopting everyone we can, so yes, they can stay. Of course you can stay, Yenna. Pick a spot and settle in. Yes! You've got a fire and everything! I can cook really good! Whatever you want! Thank you, thank you! Yep. I'm I'm adopting her. <laughs> I'm adopting her in the mindset of like, we also have Arabella in the camp. We have a ton of people. We have pets and friends and mentors. We have nature mom and nature dad. And it's good. Carla, are you okay? Soldier, my engine, it hurts. Oh. I think this might be it soon. Things burning hotter than I knew it could. But look. We've just about made it to the city. That'll do me. Let's go protect it. <sighs> Whatever happens after that is between me and the so-called gods. I'm ready if you are. Bit sweaty, but up for whatever's next. Ugh. Thanks, soldier. Can't wait to be home. Anything that comes after that is extra. Hell yes. We love you. Actually, Jahira, how are you doing? We just played host to an undying queen. Oh, and that's without our fine silverware. Lazelle has courage turning her back on a lifetime's belief. As for us, best we stay out of interplanar politics, I think. Orpheus is on his own. But should Great Vlakith come to settle a score with Lazelle, well... <laughs> I might be convinced to kill her. Hell yeah. Undying or not, she was very loud. Yes, everyone's probably got interesting remarks about what just went down. Damn. It can't have been easy for Lazelle to stand up to Vlacketh like that. But there's nothing that woman can't do. Fuck yes. Okay, I want to chat to everyone, get everyone's thoughts on that. Hey, darling. So, Lazel's finally seen the light and turned on her mistress. It took a little time, but she got there. Though it's not over yet. Masters rarely let their slaves go without a fight. Are you worried about Kazador finding out your back? I won't lie. The thought hardly fills me with uh, glee. Even with my newfound advantages, he's still an incredibly powerful vampire. But he's arrogant, too. If he does hear I'm back, he'll try to take me and expose himself in the process. Then I'll be able to strike. And how will you strike exactly? He won't be alone. <laughs> Neither will I, darling. At least I hope you'll come along for the show. 
But regardless, the plan is simple. Find him, stop him from gaining almighty power, and then really enjoy killing him. And if I can seize that almighty power for myself, well, all the better. Can we talk about the two of us? Us? I still love the sound of that. I asked him only a few days ago what we are. I'm just going to ask for a kiss. Can I kiss you? How could I say no? Mm. Gee. <sighs> Delicious. Thank you, darling. And I need a full night's sleep, so I'm not going to ask him to feed on me for once. So, it seems that Vlaketh is Lazel's queen no longer. That took no small amount of backbone. Have you heard from Daniel since we moved on? I have. He speaks to me during my nightly meditations. He is well. And Oliver also. At times they are one and... At others, they divide. Easier for playing, perhaps. And the land thrives also. I doubt you would recognize it. Perhaps one day, you and I can both return and see it for ourselves. I really love that nature, Dad. Oh my God, she is fully like in her in her brain. Like, okay, after we take care of this nonsense that we've got ourselves into we're fully going on a dad daughter camping trip to see what how things are going with daniel and we're going to camp under the stars and we're going to have a wonderful time and i can officially introduce you to my boyfriend nature dad glad to see i'm not the only one on the wrong side of an omnipotent authority figure Lazel did well to break free of Vlakith's manipulations, though I doubt Vlakith will let such insubordination go unpunished. Oh, how are the babies? You smell very delicious, but I will not bite you. Baby. <gasps> More. All right, where's Scratch? There you are. Hope you're keeping well, friend. I am. I love Alpha baby so much. Like, I, because I was thinking of when we get to Baldur's Gate, I would change Silesia's hairstyles to something that's a bit more, like, noble. I was thinking, like, the, maybe the hairstyle that has, like, the curls over the shoulders. But honestly, I love her with the ponytail so much. It just suits her to a T. I didn't think I'd live to see the day when Lazel turned her back on Vlakith. But all things considered, good for her. Hell yes. The Sharans are using a place called the House of Grief as cover for their presence in Baldur's Gate. Then that's where we need to go. My parents are in there somewhere. And we will rescue them. Right, is there anyone else? Where's Will, actually? Where are they camp? There he is. You dapper gentleman, you. Vlakith's a fearsome one. The sort it's hard to say no to. But Lazel said it anyway to her immense credit. She's choosing truth. She's choosing freedom. For her, for Orpheus, for the Githyanki people. <laughs> I wish I knew a good Githyanki cheer to celebrate the occasion, but the only gift phrases I've picked up are the sweary sort. When you're in the city, are you, ex are you excited to return? Reluctant? A little of both? Baldur's Gate is where I first raised a glass in toast at the tender age of 14 and got so tipsy from wine, I puked in Dillard Portier's bushes. It's where the flaming fist chased me after I'd stolen a peach from a cart in the wide. I got a good chewing out over it too. It's where my father taught me to hold a rapier, to read books of law, 
to know right from wrong. It's been seven years since I left. It's no paradise, but it's home, and it's worth saving. And you? The city's yours too, after all. How's it feel to be back? Hmm. Baldur's Gate is dear to my heart. It's good to be here. <laughs> Wonderful, isn't it? Toril's history is written within our city's walls. Expeditions to the continent of Mastika gather in the harbor, where the Church of Gon displays its most priceless treasures in the High House of Wonders. Voices raised in song on returning day. The heady winds at the elf song. There's truly no place like Baldur's Gate. All righty then. I think that's everyone I wanted to talk to. Actually, I want to talk to that cat of yours. I'm just a cat. P -p please talk to Yenna. I'm not going to hurt you, kitty. I d d don't like talking. Do you know what happened to Yenna's mother? N nothing good, I don't think. She was so very sick. Maybe she made like a cat and went off to, to spend her last life. Is Yenna mistreating you? Y Yenna is my best friend. She's kind. Help her, not me. May I pet you? P please don't. Okay, I won't. Okay, Yenna seems to have settled here. Oh, that's sad. Where? Oh no, where's Arabella? The ink is still fresh and the letter is drawn in a careful hand. Hey you, so I owe you a lot. For one, I don't know what the inside of a snake's belly looks like. For another, you let me stay at your camp. And for another, another, you found what happened to Mom and Pops. I'm on my own now and Bone Man says it's a good thing. I just have to let the weave guide me. And as far as I can tell, it's tugging me to Baldur's Gate, so I'm heading there first. Anyway, thanks for everything. I won't forget it. Oh, I just, I just got you a friend as well. It's okay. She's in Baldur's Gate. We might cross paths with her later, so... Arabella is back from winning her to control the powers. We can trust that her magic will be there when we need her the most. Okay, cool, cool, cool. But that's okay, we have a new child to shelter. Okay, um, since we have a, like, a little bit more time tonight, let's just have a quick look at the different hairstyles, just to see if there's one that I think suits Silesia. With like all the keeping all the rest of her features the same, but just like a new hairstyle now that we're getting into Baldur's Gate. Something maybe a little fancier. What have we got? Okay, hair. Yeah. Let's see, because I still want to keep like the full length of it and everything. Oh, I do like that. Okay, what do you guys think of this? Because this was the style I was originally thinking of switching it up to when we got to Baldur's Gate. I think it suits her very well and it keeps the braids in her hair that uh, she had with the ponytail that she had originally. And yes, it, it, it's pretty much identical to my own hair. <laughs> ah, the power of the self-insert character increases. <laughs> Okay, I'm very happy with that. It's just like a subtle change, but I think it's like just a little bit extra. I don't think there's anything else I want to change. Makeup, I think, is pretty good. No, I like it being a little bit more smudged around her eyes. Like, that looks nice, but I like the, like, smokiness to it. I'm good with that. Just want to change the hairstyle to something a little bit more noble. Come on. Any second now. 
Oh no, is this frozen on me? Ah, no! Come on! Okay. I'm glad I did a quick save then before I did that. That is why you frantically quick save everything, especially if you're streaming. <sighs> okay. Let's. Okay, I know exactly what we're doing, so let's give that another try. Yes, I just wanted to do this, and then we're good. Okay, this is a bug, maybe. Because, yeah, I'm clicking around and it doesn't go back to menu. Let's just give it a second in case it's doing something in the background. But this shouldn't be happening. Let's just give it a second, though. A patch 4 bug, unfortunately. I think it just takes ages for some reason. Okay, in that case, that's alright. Let's just give it a few seconds. Um... So, I think I just maybe want to have, like, I, w I do want to have a little chat with the Starion and, and let him feed on me tonight because I need those skills sharp because he's a little nervous about crossing paths with Kazador again. Um, there we go. Ah, oh, she looks so good. Nice before me. Okay. fun little brain doing fun RP moment so she disappears for a few minutes to like her section of the camp and like readjusts her hair and stuff and she's like brushing her hair over her neck and stuff and she feels like the indents of like where she's been consistently been bitten by a star and she thinks I knew I was forgetting something this evening she comes back over to a star and, and quirks an eyebrow at the new hairstyle like what do you think can't make it that easy for you to get at me, darling. And she just kind of like playfully brushes her hair over her shoulders. Gosh, you're beautiful. And that's what he says when he sees her new hairstyle. <laughs> hmm. Oh, just for that. You can feed on me tonight if you like. I was just wondering when you'd invite me back for a bite. Alrighty, let's sleep. Where is the campfire actually? This camp is so huge. It's not down there. Where is it? Oh, Am I being an idiot? Where actually are the, the bedrolls? Oh, are they down there? Oh, am I being an idiot? Where are they? Because, like, the campfire should be, like, right in the centre of camp. Because we spawned in around... this area? It was, like, really close to Lazelle. Ah, there it is. It was inside the barn. Never mind. There we go. And yes, let's go to bed, shall we? Oh, we actually have proper beds set up. Okay, let me just check something. Because, yeah, that's what threw me for a loop because I didn't see the bed rolls around the bed before. Ah, oh, amazing. Okay, yes, let's go to bed. Actually, quick save again because I'm paranoid. There we go. Because it was different than what I'm used to. I was instantly suspicious. Okay. So. Uh, I'm just trying to think. Is there anyone that we should take out with us for the fight head? You know what? Gale doesn't have anything immediately in Baldur's Gate. Let's check. 
let's ask Gale to stay behind and because I have a feeling we're going to face Gortash before we fight Orin. So let's ask Gale to stay behind for now and we'll take Karlak with us, I think. Maybe it'll bring us Because she has a bone to pick with Gortash. Go ahead. I'm listening. I'm just trying to get things set up so that uh, when we continue um, next Friday, then we, the we could just jump straight decision, into it. So be it. I'll be here in the meantime, idling away the hours. You'll be fine. Stop pouting. Oh, that's right. You hear us people in Worms Crossing that she promised to introduce you to. Okay, let's take her then. So Bell's chosen is a doppelganger. <sighs> I should not be surprised. They have ever been among his favorite servants. Orin is testing you. Either she thinks herself a predator, playing with her food, or she fears what you might do. Good. You seem to have experience with doppelgangers. Ah. This all begins to ring a little too familiar for my liking. Hmm. The last time I fought doppelgangers, the Balspawn Saravok was using them to subvert the city government, aid his rise to power. Mm. But Orin, he's more predator than politician, I think. She simply wants to make us feel hunted, isolated. Tell the Lordling that Orin is watching. Seems that Gortash and Orin have had a little falling out. We should leverage that. Join me. As you wish. Alright. Actually, I'll level up to here as well. Okay. She is also a druid, but um, Halson was... I picked uh, Circle of the Moon. Oh, wait. Yes, uh, primarily for Wild Shape. So I'm going to go with um, Circle of the Land, I think, for more spells. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, what I'll do is I'll also ask Shadowheart to maybe stay behind, because we're not going to get into Baldur's Gate, I think, right away. Um, we're mostly focusing on Worms Crossing at the moment and the whole mess with Gortash. So let's us Jahira and Karlak and Astarian in the party um, for our next adventure. And then Jahira can act as our healer. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Uh, yes, let's go with forest, I think. Because that makes most sense for Jahira, I think. And let's go with Moonbeam, actually. Guidance, very important. And yes, lesser restoration is very good. Now for you, I think, let's just go with the basic ability improvement for wisdom and let's go wisdom and con, I think, for concentration, I think. Yes. Yes, I think let's go with that. Oh, 
for lightning and plant growth. Good, good. Nice, nice, nice. More amazing wild shape options. Good, good. Spike growth is also very good. Oh, heat metal is also very useful though. Yeah, let's go with that. I love just being able to pick all of these amazing spells. Minor Elemental and Grasping Vine, very cool. Ooh, Conjure Woodland Being is also very useful because then we have another person on the battlefield. Let's go with that and Wall of Fire, I think. Yeah. There are a ton of level 3 spells that particularly catch my eye, so let's go with those for now. It's all looking good. And feet for you will be best. Because you don't have a ton of concentration spells, I think. What concentration spells do you have? Fairy Fire's concentration, Moonbeam is concentration, Sleet Storm is concentration. Actually, you do have a couple of pretty important ones, so let's go with that. Hey, Kate, how's it going? Thank you so much for the follow. Uh, yeah, let's go with Warcaster for advantage on concentration spells. Go. Mass cure wounds, hell yes. And time to prepare spells. And conjure elemental, yes, very nice. Okay, there we go. And then let's ask Shadowheart to stay behind and we'll get Karlak with us. Essentially, I'm just setting up everything so that uh, next week we can just jump straight into the game. Almost pleasant traveling with company. If you ignore all the less pleasant aspects. We should journey separately for now. I'll look for you if I need you again. If you're sure. Fine. I'll be here whenever you rediscover your taste in company. I will say, something's off about my character's hair colour. So, because it's originally like a darker auburn colour, like similar to my own hair colour. But for some reason it's like red red. Um, I might in my own time, uh, just because it's a bit of a bug at the moment that it takes a while. I might dip in either after tonight's stream or like before next stream just to tweak that a little bit. Because that might just be like something happened with the colour sliders and I'll adjust that. Because I'm very hey, vain soldier. like that. Come on, we're heading out. Hell yes. Yes! It could also be the lighting, that's very true. And yes, I love the new hairstyle, it looks so good on her. <coughs> mm, excuse me. Let's see. 
What works well for you? And that could be good for you. Great Weapon Master might actually be really good for you. Oh, thanks for the Hydrate check. Mm -mm. I might get that for Karlak, actually. When you land a critical hit or kill a target with a melee weapon attack, you can make another melee weapon attack again as a bonus action that turn. Attacks with melee weapons you are proficient with and wielding in both hands can deal an additional 10 damage at the cost of down five, negative 5 attack roll penalty. Yes. Oh, let's go with that. Very nice. Now, was there anything I had to give you, actually? I'm just going to give her the clown hammer just for funsies. Argument solver, that was one of them. Let me just have a quick check in my crate of many things. Okay, so there was something I wanted to give to you. I was going to give that to uh, Lazel later. And that was it. The enraging heart garb. That to you. Oh, I could go for a good meal. We'll adjust the colours, but yes, yes, and then increases your con even more. Good, good, good. I'm good with that. And okay, exterminator's axe is better. Still breathing, despite everything. I don't think there's anything else. Let me just check. Hmm. Were those actually quite good for you instead? Because I, was, I wasn't sure that was more like casting arcane spells and then you get that benefit. Weapon attacks do additional 1 to 4 fire damage. Yeah, I think what you already had was better before. Never a dull moment. Alrighty, so I think with that, we're going to wrap things up for tonight. We have a good idea of what the party's going to be um, setting out and what we're going to be doing. Probably like focusing on uh, trying to maybe speak or figure out what's happening with Gortash and also Jahira apparently had uh, some people that she wanted to introduce us to in Joaquin's Rest but for now let's wrap things up here we're having a slightly shorter night tonight but I've just been really really worn down uh, the past couple of uh, days and I've had a very busy week so we're having a slightly shorter stream tonight well this is kind of my normal uh, length stream but it feels shorter for a Baldur's Gate 3 stream. <laughs> Alrighty, so with that, we will be wrapping things up. Thank you so much for joining me tonight, my lovelies. Uh, we will be continuing more Baldur's Gate 3 next Friday, and be sure to join me on Sunday as we'll be concluding um, separate ways. We'll be finishing up the DLC uh, for Resident Evil 4. Again, that will probably also be a shorter stream as well, just because we only had like two chapters left, I believe. So we might be wrapping those up within like an, like an hour and a half to two hours so just a heads up that Sunday might also be a slightly shorter stream um and but to be honest this week has been very very full to me so I want to take some time for myself just to catch up on my sleep and all that good stuff so I will see you guys on Sunday if you've been lurking in the shadows and you like what you've seen so far please consider following we would love to have you back at the Blue Rose Respite you are welcome anytime yes be sure to check out um, my new merch store over at fourth wall I'm currently having a promotion where if you put the code SSQ store uh, in all caps at um, when you place your order then you get 10% off your 
total order. So if you like the uh, the logo of the Blue Rose Respite and uh, you like some other stuff that I do, um, then be sure to check that out and maybe consider supporting me. Um, and yes, I also uh, mentioned at the start of tonight that I did a collaboration with Megan at uh, Ivory Monocle Tea and I now have two tea blends available there. You can get them separately or as a set with both of them, um, but they are delicious, they're wonderful and you can find the link to that in uh, a panel on my about page on Twitch. So let's see who's currently live and we'll send them some love. You know what, for a change of pace, let's go say hi to Edward Bosco. An amazingly talented voice actor and someone very, very cool who I would love one day love the opportunity to work with on a project with him. So guys, let's go, go say hi to the amazing as always Edward Bosco and I will see you on Sunday for the conclusion of Separate Ways. But thank you all so very much for joining me tonight. I hope you, ha I hope you have a fantastic weekend and remember, take care of yourselves, take care of each other and as always... Stay wicked and wonderful. Good night, my lovelies.